So this is my uh, quick review of the signal quality of the Lay Eco Lay Pro 3. I picked this up at an excellent bargain uh, Black Friday and wanted to get some information out there as to how it functions as a phone. There are already a lot of reviews out there covering the hardware specifications as well as benchmarks. But to me the most important aspect of a phone is its ability to make and receive calls and text messages, so I will focus on that with this quick review. First of all, this is a unlocked GSM phone, which means that it should work with both uh, T-Mobile and AT&T. What I like about this phone is that it works uh, with T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling right out of the box. So, if we turn on the phone on the lock screen. As you can see, it says T Mobile Wi Fi calling. It says T Mobile Wi Fi calling LTE. And it says Wi Fi calling calls. It says Wi Fi calling calls will be made over Wi Fi. So that's a big plus, uh, as this isn't always possible in um, unlocked phones. This does also support uh, T-Mobile Band 12. As you can see from this screenshot using the LTE Discovery app, this phone was able to uh, connect to Band 12 and receive an LTE signal. I also have several low signal spots in my home, which are practically dead zones, which certain phones have difficulty uh, maintaining an LTE signal. So here's a screenshot of the signal strength of this phone in one of those dead zones. As you can see, it has a pretty decent uh, LTE signal at a minus 109 dB. So in order to test uh, voice quality over both a Wi-Fi and a cellular signal, um, I called my uh, Google Voice number and uh, left a voicemail message, and here's the difference uh, between the two. This is a test of phone call voice quality over Wi-Fi using my Le Eco Le Pro 3 phone. This is a test of phone call voice quality over a cellular connection with HD voice enabled using my Le Eco Le Pro 3 phone. As you can hear, voice quality is uh, pretty good over both uh, Wi-Fi calling and a regular uh, cellular network. Um, that phone call was made uh, during or at one of my uh, dead spot uh, locations within my home, so the signal strength and maintenance was uh, pretty good. So next I'm going to test a GPS and see how quickly it can get a GPS signal. So first I'm going to turn my GPS on. And I'm going to keep it only on GPS. And here we go. So as you can see, it locks onto GPS really quickly. Now I have used this uh, with Android Auto using the uh, Google Maps app, and it has worked uh, very well without any problems. As you can see, the accuracy has improved to within 10 feet and uh, I am inside uh, a house, uh, so this is pretty good. Um, I'm sure it'd be better and faster if I were um, outdoors. So the next thing I'm gonna test is a Bluetooth connection, and I'm going to connect it with a uh, external speaker. I'll turn it on. Uh, 
Okay, I'm gonna try and turn off my speaker and turn it back on, see if it sees the signal. Bluetooth already opened. Waiting for Bluetooth connecting. All right, so it detected the speaker and I'm gonna connect now. Bluetooth connected successfully. Okay, it's connected. So now I'm going to play um, Spotify. See how quickly it connects to Wi-Fi, so right now Wi-Fi is off. I'm going to turn it on, and then let's go back to the home screen and look at the notifications. And if you can see up on the right side, it's already connected to Wi-Fi. Now we'll see how long it takes for it to uh, enable Wi-Fi calling. And we'll see that notification on the upper left uh, portion of the screen when um, Wi-Fi calling is uh, enabled. Sorry about that. So it took about two minutes. Uh, oh, what happened? Okay, there we go. So it took about two minutes uh, for Wi Fi calling to uh, be enabled after connection to Wi Fi, but um, it definitely works. If we look at the notifications, it says Wi-Fi calling, T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling. So um, overall, if you care about uh, call quality, um, this is a good phone, especially if you're on T-Mobile. You have band 12 support, you have T-Mobile Wi-Fi calling right out of the box. In comparison with my Nexus 6, which had been my daily driver. The uh, cellular connections have been um, much uh, better, much stronger. Um, it doesn't lose signals in area where my Nexus 6 would lose signals. Uh, Bluetooth connection is nice and strong. It doesn't cut out. Um, if you put the phone in your back pocket, um, so, if you're looking for a phone with a good signal, um, the Le Eco Le Pro 3 is uh, such a phone.